a legal tech company. And so it's very startup feel, even though we're in Chicago. In Relativity, we're really focused on a legal industry. And there's some concerning facts that are out there. So um, the actual records are it's like one out of every three law firms has an incident that they've reported as a breach in the past year. So we have a ton of data out there that's really super sensitive and nobody's really protecting it very well. The volumes of data have grown from a couple hundred megs a day in logs to terabytes of logs and there's absolutely no way that individuals can go through that volume of data. So the tools that we have bring it all together in one place but to make understanding of it you need the intelligence component. Building a threat intelligence program and getting people on board with it is in the beginning, data-driven. We always start with the data. It's always best to have data to fall back on to say these are big wins that you get with threat intelligence. This is what we would be protecting against. Uh, from the ground level, analysts looking at a new IP that's coming in, new domain that people are trying to go out to, they need to understand what the actual risk is to the company. And the only way to do that is by having threat intelligence integrated directly into the products that they're using. So we're able to paint pictures who's coming after us and what do they want and how are they going about it. Where are our soft spots? How can we harden those? Uh, where can we deflect attacks? Sometimes it's not about keeping people out, just making it so difficult that they don't want it anymore. All CISOs are fundamentally trying to protect data. And you can protect data and you can respond to things and you can play the game of whack-a-mole or you can actually try to get ahead of protecting it by being preventative. And we get that information from Recorded Future.